What a beautiful day it is today to be melting metal. And today, I'm going to be turning this foam Minecraft sword that I previously made into solid aluminum. And if you're new to this video and never saw the making of the foam pattern, the link will be in the description below. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Let's head into the garage and start working on this. So previously I did a test cast using a standard foam pattern that I made using this little soup can. Well this time I used an old crucible and cut the bottom out of it because last time I had a spill. And that's because there's two things. I couldn't see because of all the black smoke and the can was just really too small. But if you guys are interested in watching the full video of this pour, that link will be in the description as well. So because this crucible is the same exact size as the crucible I'm using today to melt down the aluminum, I will just pour the entire amount of aluminum from the crucible I'm melting into this one. I think it's a pretty good idea, right? So after I had that mishap from last pour for the test pour, I created my own casting box that will fit that sword perfectly inside. And here is that test pour that I did it is only made just so I know how much aluminum I will need for this cast. And for today's cast, I'm actually going to be using aluminum ingots that I've made in the past from melting down some beach chairs. Some people usually ask me, what do I do with those ingots? Well, sometimes I just reuse them to make something new. And here's another clip of a common question I get. How do I remove the dross that is left over inside the crucible? Well, I just pry on the edges with a screwdriver and it pops right out very easily. So now we're going to load those ingots into the crucible and start this process of metal casting. This new Minecraft sword that I made out of foam. So I'm going to bring this out to the furnace and load the furnace with the crucible. But I'm not going to light the furnace yet. I want to prepare my mold prior to melting down the aluminum because this might take a while. Now I filled the bottom with some dry sand first to kind of get the height that I need for this foam pattern. Because don't forget, I'm using the large crucible with the hole cut out of the bottom for the pouring basin. And I kind of want to keep that inside the box as well, just in case the crucible breaks. Because if you guys noticed, it has cracks all over it, and it is an old one. So I don't know how much it's going to survive. So I also want to surround the crucible with sand as well. And if you're new to this channel and this process of metal casting, this is called the lost foam casting process. We're using completely dried out sand, which also means it's very loose. So unfortunately, I forgot to put a screw in the one area on the box, so I just grabbed a clamp and clamped it closed. And now it's time to light the furnace and melt down this aluminum. So as I said in my test pour, I'm going to start surrounding the area where I pour with some dry sand just in case I have another spill because I don't really want to be ruining my driveway any more than I already have. Now even though I have enough aluminum in the crucible, I kind of want to add more just so I have a little bit of head pressure on the aluminum to 
help fill out the pattern and not get any shrinkage. So in case you were wondering, what I was doing was preheating the ingot because you don't want to put a cold ingot into molten metal. guys the molten aluminum is now 1900 degrees Fahrenheit and I think we're good so we're gonna pour this molten aluminum into this other crucible and cast this metal Minecraft sword That pour went so much smoother than my test pour did. So this being a new casting box, and normally I just pull the cast out of the sand, I didn't really know how I was going to do it. So I thought this was going to be a good way, and it actually was. It's kind of cool to watch the sand just falling out of the casting box. And now that most of the sand has fallen out, it makes it much easier to pull out the cast from the box. And what we have here is a perfectly cast Minecraft sword. All right, guys. In the garage, it's time to cut off all this extra aluminum from this cast. Now we're going to take a quick look at it before I pull out the grinding wheel. I do see some defects in the cast by the handle and the guard. That's because when I buried this in sand, I stopped vibrating the container once I got to the guard. You really want to vibrate the casting box very well to really get that sand compacted around that foam. Well, there you have it, guys. We have a real metal Minecraft sword. I do hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I make cool stuff like this all the time, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you go back into some of my past videos and check those out too. I'll see you in the next video.